I am now going to replace the dryer belt in this vacuum cleaner. This is normally a very simple job. This is a Morphe Richards vacuum cleaner, but most vacuum cleaners are very similar. Luckily, the belts are very inexpensive and these cost £3 for two belts. Before you start this job, you do need to ensure that the vacuum cleaner is unplugged from the electricity supply before you start it. I'm just going to start by lying this one back. And I have been informed by the owner that the brush isn't picking up. And if we just try pushing that round with our finger, you'll see that there is no resistance there at all. That indicates that the belt has snapped or has slipped off. So there's a few screws that we need to remove on this. We're going to start off by removing that one and that one. And then there could be one under the eye adjustment, which we'll get to in a second. If you're ever struggling doing this, it's a good idea to check online because you can probably download a free manual for it, which will tell you which screws that you need to remove in order to get to the belt. So I'm just going to pop the adjuster down now. And then there's a screw in there that we need to remove. Then we're just going to straighten the vacuum back up. Now I need to remove that knob, which simply pulls out. And then at the back we have two screws there that need removing. Sometimes the screws are difficult to get out, so it does help if you've got a magnet. That will help you to get the screws out. You should always keep the screws separate as well, just in case they are different lengths. We now just need to press that button in so that we can lower the back down on the vacuum and that will enable us to lift off this cover. And you can see that the belt has snapped, which is a good job because otherwise I'd be £3 worse off. We can now just pull that cover up and then the brush will simply lift out on this model like so. And it's a little bit dirty in there, it's quite a bit of worn belt, etc. So I'm just going to get the vacuum cleaner and a brush. I'm just going to clean out some of the debris from in there. Now I'm going to get the belt. I'm going to slide it down the gap there and hook it over the end of the mortar. Until it's on the drive shaft, like so. We now need to feed the brush through the belt, ensuring that the belt is on that round part. And then we're gonna hook one end in first And we're just going to pull that. This will actually tension the belt as well. So this can be quite hard to get in. So we can now push that all the way down. We can now put that cover back in position. Like so. We can now take the top. carefully push that back on. I'm now going to stand the vacuum back up. I'm going to start off by replacing these two screws at the back. You don't need to go mad when you're tightening the screws up because you are only screwing it into plastic. We now need to take that dial and push that back in, like so. We can then tilt the vacuum back. And then we can just pull that down so that we can get the screw back in there.
It's a good idea to keep one hand on the dial whilst you tighten up the screw. Once we've done that, there's just the two screws there. And that is it. You will notice that I've got different gloves on, that's because I've actually just repaired those two parts there using Superfix, as I noticed that they were cracked and have been repaired previously. So that's it now, that is the vacuum cleaner fixed. Until next time. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.